Hey, Chris, good morning to you. So, yeah, well, windy for some, uh, rainy for others. Uh, we do have an interesting day and unsettled for everybody. So we're taking a live look outside from our camera atop the Empire State Building. We've got mostly cloudy skies in New York City, 72 degrees, and winds out of the northeast at 12 miles an hour. We want to talk pollen just for a moment. Tree pollen, much like yesterday, is low. Grass is moderate, ragweed is moderate, mold and weeds moderate, too. This is actually an improvement over what we had yesterday, so it is a little bit better of a day if you are an allergy sufferer. You do need your rain gear if you're heading out the door because we do expect shower activity. We are starting the day with rain for some, and we've got some pockets of moderate rain in here as well. And then for some, we've got some embedded thunderstorms, so we've been seeing a lot of lightning strikes uh, that have been firing up for the east end of Long Island. So you look around East Hampton and Montauk, we are seeing some pretty heavy rain and uh, lightning strikes. A flood advisory has been issued for that area, so we are seeing some heavy downpours there. So a lot going on to start depending on where you are. Your community, you may have seen just a little bit of rain and not much more than that, and you may not see more than that. But generally speaking, the tri-state area remains unsettled today with this cold front draped across the area. It becomes a focal point for shower and thunderstorm development, so there is a chance to still see additional activity later today. We continue to watch post-tropical storm Nicholas. 25 mile an hour winds, it's moving north at two miles an hour. So it is barely moving, not as significant a rainmaker as it once was. That is helpful at least. Of course, we are also tracking an additional area of low pressure, still with a 70% chance of development over the next 48 hours. So we do watch that one. And that one becomes more of a player in the weather along the East Coast because you can see it sort of moves up the coast here, keeps things unsettled for us before moving east. And so as we track it into the weekend, rain and wind is unlikely, but strong rain rip currents and uh, rough surf. So it does play some role uh, in our in our in our area as it continues its move. That's what it is forecast to do right now. For now, we're far more concerned with that cold front that's draped across the area. So we start the day with some wet weather. We get a bit of a break. Most of us late morning, early noon and then uh, as we early afternoon. And then as we head around 3 o'clock, we'll see some additional showers and thunderstorms start to develop. And then we do it again tomorrow, 4 o'clock in the morning, a chance for some shower activity, a chance for some showers, 2 in the afternoon for your Friday. We basically just have a number of chances for rain today and tomorrow with things trending drier for Saturday and Sunday even better uh, and warmer, of course, this weekend. So upper 70s today and tomorrow with a, a chance for rain. Both days you'll need the umbrella looking better and warmer for the weekend. Chris? Okay, Lisa, thank you.